that cute little note waiting for her. Oh, love you, babe. Love me too. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm. <laughs> okay. Thursday, which means tomorrow's Friday weekend yes and on Sunday it's Valentine's Day so in today's video we're gonna share with you 10 affordable things to do on Valentine's Day from the comfort of your own home since we're still in quarantine COVID-19 is still doing its thing we decided to share some ideas with you of um, things that you can do for Valentine's Day at home and it's very affordable some of them are even free hey how great is that since Valentine's Day fall on a Sunday why not just celebrate love during the whole weekend start from Friday and end the wonderful weekend on Sunday the 10 ideas that I'm gonna share with you are like yeah, there are kind of, some of them are small, so you can combine them with other things, or you can do everything on the list. That would be awesome. You literally can do everything on the list. Of course. Maybe not in one day, but if you make it a whole weekend of love, hey, why not? Okay, let's go. Too much talking. Let's just see what's on that list. Ten things. Oh, and one more thing. The things on the list you can do with anyone. So if you're single, if you're married, if you're a couple, if you want to celebrate Valentine's Day with your family or with your friends, that's fine. This video is also made for you. You can do literally everything on the list with anyone. You don't have to be like in love and you know the typical Valentine's Day love my boo and blah blah blah. No. Single people need love too. Single people love themselves. We love our family. We love our friends you know whatever so stay tuned number one DIY gifts DIY do-it-yourself gifts for your significant other or for whomever you want to give a gift on this Valentine's Day it can be anything from gift baskets to a bedazzled picture frame with a picture of you guys in it that's a thoughtful gift or you can knit something or crochet something if you're handy just make something just make something even flowers you can walk around depending on where which area you're living well right now <laughs> right now I'm not sure if flowers are blooming but yeah I'm not sure how it goes but like places that has like summer all year round we don't have like spring and so on but yeah I'm not sure how it goes with flowers but if you can pick your own flowers if flowers are available you walk around look for flowers pick some flowers and make your own bouquet and make it look nice and give it to the person that's also very thoughtful we think that if you make something you think about something and make it and gift it to someone it's a little more special than just going into the store and buying something and giving it to the person you know making it yourself takes time and it takes effort and creativity it's also a fun activity so you make the gift like before Valentine's Day and then on Valentine's Day you give it to the person and you can tell them yeah I made this from scratch and I want you to have it and you know you know how it goes number two create a playlist for someone else so the idea is you create a playlist that you want to share with the other person boyfriend whomever a playlist of songs that you love and you would also like to share with the other person or the message in the song is something that you want to tell the person and trust me doing it through music is by far the easiest way so you make a playlist or more than one playlist if you want to and you give it to the person and the other person does the same thing they make a playlist for you and give it to you on Valentine's Day and you guys can listen to the playlist together and enjoy the music and you know get in some good mood 
yeah so you can make your playlist like on youtube spotify apple music you know to do whatever program you use to stream music or listen to music you just make a playlist put some songs together and share it with the other person number three one of my personal favorites hidden love notes the idea is that you hide love notes all around the house and you let the other person find the love notes so you put it in places that is obvious not that they should go on a hunt for the love notes but they don't know where the love notes are until they go to that place and they suddenly see a note and it says something cute on it for example guys if you have a girlfriend and you know when she wakes up in the morning when she wakes up in the morning she goes to her makeup table or to the toilet or whatever let's say she opens up a drawer every morning to take out yeah something her panties her bra or face wipes or something you put a cute little note and something that she's gonna open or something that she's gonna use during the day and then when she opens it there's that cute little note waiting for her yeah so that's really cute like that's really cute I think that's really cute you can even put it like in the kitchen drawer and when the person opens the drawer like to take a fork to eat their breakfast and there's a note there's a love note I'm waiting for you you can also get pretty creative with the love notes you can use markers color pencils make it colorful instead of just using a plain old pen or pencil you know be creative number four bake something complicated together it's a fun activity to do together as a family or as a couple as friends you just search up a recipe that you think is pretty difficult and complicated you get the ingredients and you try to put it together everyone has a role or everyone you know takes part in baking whatever you guys decide to bake it's a good way to spend time together and it's a challenge number five another one of my personal favorites have an indoor picnic oh i would love to have an indoor picnic i've never had an indoor picnic but that's an awesome idea if you don't want to go outside well right now it's winter for example in some countries and you literally can't have a picnic so you just bring it inside so what you do is literally what you would do outside for a picnic you do the exact same thing but inside that's it simple but it's gonna be like so cool and so nice and so like i don't know you can even make it cozy since you're inside you can light candles you can put some lights for scenery etc etc you know push the couch back move the coffee table out of the way or the center table out of the way pull out a blanket put it on the rug and get your picnic basket because we're having a picnic inside COVID-19 will not stop us. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yes, where was I? Number six. 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 No, I think six. Yeah, this makes more sense. Number six. What was it again? Oh, yeah. Number six. Paint each other. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We're not all that creative. I know, I know, but don't get all worked up. It's not that complicated. Well, you don't have to make it that complicated. You can look for a tutorial on how to draw someone or how to paint someone, how to make a portrait, and you do the best that you can do. Everyone's creativity level is different, but I still think it would be nice to try and paint each other or paint each other because there are some talented people out there. So you paint each other no matter how it comes out you pretend to love it and you put it in a frame and you're like oh my god my boyfriend painted me oh my god my girlfriend painted me oh my god this looks so much like me even if even if it doesn't look anything like you but you know love just pretend put it in a frame put it on your wall yeah that's it number seven make a bucket list or create a bucket list together so what you do you come together with your boyfriend girlfriend friends family you create a bucket list and you stick to it make sure you stick to the 
bucket list. There were so many things that we couldn't do for over a year now, almost over a year now with COVID-19. So everything that you wanted to do even before COVID and you didn't get a chance to do it, just put it on that bucket list. You do it together. Like for example, I don't know, skydiving or traveling around the world or visiting a certain city or a certain country you put it on the bucket list everyone puts their input in there and we do everything on the list because everyone's wishes are on that list so you do it together you make the list together and then you execute it together number eight we're getting close we're getting close so number eight Dance, just dance. Do some slow dancing. Pull each other close. Feel each other's heartbeats. Touch on each other's bodies. And just move as one body. Ugh, put on some zook or some kizumba and just let it flow yes mm, mm, mm. you know you can dance by yourself You can dance with your friends, you can dance with your family, or you can dance with your man or your woman. Like how I'm dancing with Bay. Say hi, Bae. Say hi. This my man. Yeah. This my boo thing. <laughs> this my man, y'all. So I won't be lonely on Valentine's Day because I got me a man, y'all. I got me a man. Uh, love you, babe. Love me too. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm. <laughs> ah. Anyways, guys, let's get serious. Number nine. The one before the last. Message in a bottle. No, it's not what you think. It's not the typical put a message in a bottle, close it up and throw it in the ocean so some random person across the earth can find it. No. This one, how it goes, the idea is you write a message, you put it in a bottle or in a jar. So the message is for whomever you want it to be for. You write the message, put it in a bottle or in a jar and you close it and you leave it until next year on Valentine's Day then you each open whatever message that you wrote in the bottle so if you wrote a message for your girlfriend she won't be able to read the message until next Valentine's Day so you can write for example where do you see yourself by next Valentine's Day or where do you see us as a couple where you see yourself as a couple by next Valentine's Day or where do you see yourself as friends by next Valentine's Day you know whatever you want to write you pour your heart your you pour your heart out in the message and put it in a bottle and leave it until next Valentine's Day I think it would be more like challenging if you actually leave the bottle like in plain sight or the jar in plain sight and every time you see it you're like really anxious and you really want to read what's whatever message is in the bottle but you can't but of course if you're gonna get tempted and you know you're gonna cheat and watch what's in the bottle then just hide the bottle away so that you don't read it before next year number 10 number 10 10 10 last but not least also one of my personal favorites number 10 do nothing do nothing do absolutely nothing at the end of the day Valentine's Day it's cool it's cute whatever we love love we celebrate love it's a cool day you know set apart to celebrate love but don't forget two things you don't have to celebrate Valentine's Day that's number one number two self 
love. So you can celebrate Valentine's Day by yourself, at home, you just relax, you chill, you read, you take a bubble bath, you sleep, you repeat, you eat, you Netflix and chill by yourself, binge watch some series, whatever you wanna do, you just do you, and that's your Valentine's Day or that's your Valentine's Day weekend. Treat yourself, self-care comes first. So that's a wrap. Thank you for watching and see you next time on this channel. Hey, you made it in a new video.